Many girls have not had much, but Never Say Never helped her career and brought her other well-known parts. Kim Basinger, a renowned Hollywood actress from the 1980s and 1990s, has had a life as dramatic as any of her on-screen personas, going from an Oscar-winning actress to an impoverished celebrity. She's had a remarkable trip. She filed for bankruptcy due to difficulties in her career, such as a lawsuit over the movie Boxing Helena. What happened to the actress who seemed to have it all before losing it all? Come along as we explore the fascinating story of Kim Basinger's fall from grace and learn about her life's journey after her financial collapse. Lonely Beginnings and Ascent to Fame As the middle child of five siblings, Kim Basinger was born on a cold December day in 1953 in the charming Georgian town of Athens, marking the beginning of her journey. Kim was raised in a home surrounded by music and the glamour of show business. Despite the ostensibly glamorous setting, young Kim was far from the self-assured starlet she would become. Her mother, Anne Lee, a former actress and model, entertained the family with stories of her days swimming with the legendary Esther Williams. Her father, Donald, who had courageously stormed the beaches of Normandy during World War II, filled their home with the melodies of big band tunes. Early Challenges Her early years were characterized by crippling timidity, which often made her shudder at the idea of speaking up in class. This battle with self-confidence usually returned throughout her life, influencing her choices and experiences in unforeseen ways. Kim found expression and comfort in the elegant realm of dance as she matured into adolescence. She spent over 10 years honing her arabesques and pirouettes to express herself when words were insufficient. In a turn of events that would predict her future career, the future star's initial glimpses emerged on the ballet stage. Modeling Local pageant organizers noticed Kim's inherent attractiveness. She bravely competed and won the Athens Junior Miss pageant at 17. She felt a fire ignited by this limelight taste, which suggested opportunities outside of her little Georgia town. Kim found herself at a crossroads as high school came to an end. The renowned Ford Modeling Agency offered a ticket to the glitzy world of New York fashion. However, her aspirations to sing and perform were thwarted by the alluring call of school. Determined to take a new route, she enrolled at the University of Georgia. But the attraction of the big city and the prospect of a modeling career were too alluring to pass up. The Path to Hollywood Kim soon discovered that she preferred the buzz of New York City over academic life. She had no idea this choice would put her on a winding road that would eventually bring her to Hollywood glory and beyond, full of victories, difficulties, and unforeseen detours. Basinger was caught between the comfortable but unknowable world of modeling and the seductive but unknowable world of acting as the 1980s got underway. When the renowned magazine eventually published her photographs in 1983, her most notable success was, unanticipatedly, made possible by her bold choice to appear for Playboy in 1981. It was the ideal time for Basinger to make her Bond Girl debut in Never Say Never Again. Her depiction as the seductive Domino Pachi alongside Sean Connery and her Playboy cover produced a perfect storm of exposure. The Birth of a star. Suddenly, Kim Basinger was more than simply a TV program guest star or a face in the ads. She was now a household name and a bona fide sex symbol. Because of this heightened focus, Basinger's directors could view her from a different perspective. They saw that she could be a severe actor and a lovely beauty. From the sports drama The Natural to the sultry thriller Nine and a Half Weeks, Basinger took on several roles in the mid-1980s that demonstrated her versatility and depth. She showed that she could compete with well-known actors and carry movies on her own merit. But her role as Vicki Vale in Tim Burton's Batman in 1989 launched her into the stratosphere of Hollywood stardom. The movie was a cultural phenomenon. New Difficulties Global audiences responded favorably to Basinger's depiction of the intrepid photographer entangled in a web of superhero drama. Her reputation as a leading lady was solidified by her chemistry with Michael Keaton 
and her capacity to make an impression in a movie full of larger-than-life characters. Basinger's career kept changing as the 1990s went on. She refused to be categorized as only a pretty face and instead embarked on more complex and nuanced parts. Her tour de force performance in L.A. Confidential in 1997 as Lynn Bracken, a prostitute with a golden heart and a remarkable likeness to Veronica Lake Basinger, enthralled audiences and reviewers due to her commitment to her profession. Accolades She received an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for the performance, confirming her years of dedication and creative development during this time of global recognition. Basinger showed grace and vulnerability while navigating the dangerous waters of fame. Her childhood battles with worry and self-doubt did not miraculously go away with fame. Instead, they shaped her performances, giving her characters nuance and relatability that appealed to audiences around the world. Basinger kept pushing herself and surprising people as she approached her 50s. She demonstrated that skill and commitment are timeless by portraying Eminem's distraught mother in Eight Miles and an abduction victim in Cellular. She remained relevant in a field that often obsesses over youth because of her willingness to take on parts that went against the grain. She's made a lasting impression on Hollywood and popular culture, from a timid girl in Georgia to an Oscar-winning actress. Difficult Conduct As Kim Basinger's fame grew in Hollywood, rumors about her challenging behavior spread among industry insiders. These allegations centered on the early 1990s production of The Marrying Man, which depicted an actress whose demands and peculiarities had escalated to legendary levels. Set rumors describe Basinger's odd behaviors, such as her purported fixation on using only the best Yvonne water to wash her hair. Despite its seemingly minor nature, this symbolized what some saw to be overzealous star treatment. Holder for Umbrellas Stories about a devoted umbrella bearer whose only responsibility was to protect Basinger from the harsh California rays contributed to the actress's alleged dislike of sunshine. During shooting, time management became a controversial topic. According to reports, Basinger arrivals on set were sometimes erratic, leading to delays in the production schedule. According to reports, her attitude toward beauty sometimes resulted in more frequent stops for her hair and cosmetics touch-ups. The descriptions of Basinger's impact on the creative process were perhaps the most remarkable. Her Impact She allegedly had considerable control over the production process, including choices on the number of takes and the personnel needed to replace the initial director of photography at the beginning of the shoot, which only served to increase conjecture on the degree of her influence. It's essential to remember the historical context of the 1990s, when powerful male actors frequently made similar or even more outrageous demands without receiving the same level of scrutiny or criticism. These stories, whether they were true or exaggerated, helped to create a growing perception of Basinger as a problematic actress. However, the fact that Basinger reacted to these characterizations suggests her actions were misinterpreted. Women's Equality She was defending the film's excellence in a field that often overlooked the contributions of women. She cited structural problems in Hollywood, claiming that when it came to expressing oneself on set, female celebrities were held to different standards than their male counterparts. The friction between Basinger and the renowned writer Neil Simon throughout the production further compounded the issue. The problematic line between appreciating established talent and pursuing one's creative vision was brought to light by the argument about manufactured comedy. As these rumors spread, they started to gain momentum and eclipse Basinger's indisputable skill and charisma on screen. In retrospect, the term narrative of the difficult actress became oversimplified and could not adequately convey the difficulties of celebrity and creative partnership. In hindsight, this chapter in Basinger's career offers a case study of how media narratives, Hollywood's gender dynamics, and the high stakes of filmmaking may all come together to produce an artist's lasting impressions. In a field where time is money, the cost of perfectionism is also called into question. These tales became part of Basinger's legend as her career developed, a chapter in her Hollywood journey highlighting the difficulties experienced by women in the entertainment business 
who dare to stand up for themselves and expect excellence. Unfortunate events. Few could have foreseen the regrettable events that would soon follow, clouding Kim Basinger's career and personal life. When her career peaked in 1997 with the Academy Award triumph for LA Confidential, following her Oscar triumph, Basinger experienced a series of obstacles that put her grit and determination to the test. As a result, the golden glow of Oscar victory might fade too swiftly. Basinger focused on an essential project for her, the movie version of I Dreamed of Africa, written by Cookie Gallman. The tale of a woman's life-changing relocation to Kenya was recounted in The Passion Project, which was the perfect opportunity to highlight Basinger's versatility and depth as an actor. The Difficult Period She was significantly affected by the production's transport to the stunning landscapes of Africa, but the movie's release in the year 2000 signaled the start of a challenging time for her career. I Dreamed of Africa could not connect with reviewers and viewers despite Basinger's engagement and the breathtaking on-location photography. For an artist who had put her heart and soul into making this tale a reality, the film's poor box office performance was a financial and artistic blow. The film was supposed to be a celebratory sequel to her Oscar victory. Still, instead, it became a warning about the unpredictability of Hollywood success, and the lackluster reaction was incredibly hurtful. From Leading to Supporting Basinger struggled with a change in the role she was given when the new millennium came to pass. This transition, a natural progression for many actresses, felt restrictive to Basinger, who longed for the diverse and challenging roles that had defined her earlier career. The pigeonholing of mature actresses into narrow archetypes is a well-documented issue in Hollywood, and Basinger found herself at the center of this frustrating paradigm. In addition to her professional challenges, Basinger's personal life became the subject of tabloid headlines. The industry that had once celebrated her as a leading lady now seemed intent on casting her primarily as a mother and wife. Divorce Her high-profile divorce from actor Alec Baldwin in 2002 thrust her private struggles into the public eye. The legal battles and custody disputes that followed were emotionally draining and financially costly further complicating her ability to focus on her career throughout these tumultuous years. Basinger also continued to battle anxiety, a condition that had plagued her since her mid-twenties, and the pressures of fame and the scrutiny that came with it exacerbated her struggles with social situations, red carpet events, and industry gatherings, which should have been celebrations of her achievements, instead became sources of intense stress. This internal conflict between her passion for acting and her discomfort with the social aspects of the industry created a complex dynamic that affected her career choices and public appearances. Combination of professional setbacks, personal turmoil, and ongoing mental health challenges created a perfect storm that threatened to derail Basinger's career and financial stability. The actress, once at the pinnacle of Hollywood success, found herself navigating uncertain waters, both professionally and personally, Yet amidst these trials, Basinger's resilience began to shine through. Rights of Animals She concentrated on issues that were important to her, especially the defense of animal rights. This change of focus gave her a sense of direction outside of the entertainment business and enabled her to focus her talents on making a difference in the world. Furthermore, Basinger's life centered on her duty as a mother to her daughter, Ireland. As Basinger drew closer to her latter years, the relationship between mother and daughter became more solid with time, providing her with security and happiness despite the upheaval of her public life and work. There's no question that the cumulative impact of these unfortunate events had a negative effect. They did, however, also help her reevaluate her priorities and outlook on life. The formerly million-dollar actress found herself on a new road prioritizing real connections and personal development above the erratic nature of fame and fortune. Controversial Divorce The marriage to and subsequent divorce from Alec Baldwin is a challenging chapter in Kim Basinger's personal life, which has been as dramatic and chaotic as any Hollywood screenplay. The two celebrities met on the set of The Marrying Man in 1990, and their relationship started like a typical Hollywood romance. 
Their heated relationship ended in 1993 because of their obvious connection on and off screen. Basinger and Baldwin seemed to be the quintessential Tinseltown power couple for a while. They worked together professionally, co-starring in the 1994 version of The Getaway and even contributing voices to a Simpsons episode that mocked their celebrity status. Ireland The arrival of their daughter Ireland in 1995 seemed to strengthen their connection even more and create what many saw as the ideal family. Still beyond the glitzy facade of shared screen time and red carpet appearances, rifts started to surface in their relationship. Two strong personalities combined with the demands of fame made for a dangerous combination. What seemed to be an unbreakable union began falling apart by the year 2000. One of the most contentious divorces in celebrity history started when they announced their split in 2000, sending shockwaves across Hollywood. Lawful Custody Bitter arguments and public mudslinging characterized the 2002 process, which would go on for years after the marriage ended. The custody dispute over their daughter Ireland was at the center of their post-divorce strife. Baldwin and Basinger openly voiced their complaints, making this conflict the center of media attention. When a voicemail Baldwin left to his daughter, who was 11 at the time, was leaked to the media, the problem reached an infamous conclusion. It revealed Baldwin's annoyance and rage, which resulted in significant criticism of his parenting and further strained his ties with Ireland and Basinger. Infamous Title For both sides, the fallout from their divorce had far-reaching effects. Basinger was under much more scrutiny after being called complicated in certain Hollywood circles. She had struggled with anxiety from the beginning of her fame, and the stress of the circumstances made it worse. For his part, Baldwin wrote A Promise to Ourselves, A Journey Through Fatherhood and Divorce in 2008, drawing on his own experiences. He described his viewpoint on the custody dispute and divorce process in detail, presenting a picture of a system that he believed to be seriously defective and discriminatory towards fathers. Mutual Respect Baldwin and Basinger moved on with their lives, concentrating on their jobs and establishing new relationships as the years went by and the intense feelings of the divorce started to subside. Baldwin married Hilaria Thomas in 2002 and had many children, while Basinger partnered with hairdresser Mitch Stone for a lengthy time in 2014. Their once strained relationship has somewhat improved with time. Both have spoken of achieving mutual respect and understanding in recent years, mainly for their daughter, Ireland. It's been a long and challenging road filled with private reconciliations and public blunders as they've evolved from acrimonious rivals to friendly co-parents. Other Relationships Although her turbulent marriage to Alec Baldwin often takes center stage when talking about her personal life, Basinger's path through love and heartache started even before she crossed paths with the well-known actor in the early years of her career. A wide range of potential suitors were drawn to Basinger's beauty and charm. She was connected to famous people such as photographer Dale Robinette and football icon Joe Namath. Even if they were brief, these early connections gave a sneak peek at the actress's allure that would eventually win over Hollywood. In 1980, Basinger married makeup artist Ron Snyder Britton, marking her first foray in a marriage. Sparks sparked among the dusty background of a Texas drama on the hard country set where the pair first met. During their almost 10-year marriage, Basinger struggled with agoraphobia, which left her confined to her home for months and put their bond to the test. A new chapter in Basinger's love life began in 1989 when her first marriage ended. Rumors One full of interesting liaisons and reported affairs, not least of which were rumors circulating in Hollywood about a connection with the mysterious singer Prince. Following her divorce, Basinger's already alluring persona gained a touch of mystery from her relationship with Prince while filming Batman, for which he composed the music. There was a lot of conjecture about Basinger's romantic life. The boundaries between her personal and professional lives were blurred when she was temporarily associated with producer and hairstylist John Peters. As the 1990s dawned, Basinger was at the center of a whirlwind romance with fashion designer Alexio Gandara. The entertainment industry was ablaze with rumors of Basinger's romantic involvements, including a rumored dance with her No Mercy co-star Richard Gere. 
On the other hand, short-lived, highlighted Basinger's appeal to imaginative people and her readiness to make contacts outside Hollywood during these years. As she moved between relationships on film, Basinger's attitude to love seemed to reflect her ability to switch between sultry fatal and sophisticated tragic parts easily. Despite the public's persistent curiosity about her romantic life, each relationship showcased a different aspect of her personality, ranging from the security she sought in her marriage to Snyder Britain to her passion and inventiveness in her suspected romance with Prince. Discovering Love With a grace that belied the intense scrutiny she endured, Basinger retained a sense of mystery while navigating the rough seas of celebrity relationships. She had a strong desire for honesty in her relationships, shown by her capacity to keep certain parts of her personal life secret even as her fame reached new heights. When Basinger reached her 40s, her love life still took another turn. She fell in love with hairdresser Mitch Stone, who had been together for years. They appear to provide the stability and camaraderie that Basinger had not been able to find in previous relationships. Getting Sued and Going Bankrupt a crucial period in Basinger's career and personal life occurred in the early 1990s when a single choice set off a chain of events that would ultimately result in her financial collapse. At the height of her fame, following the success of Batman and with an Oscar win imminent, Basinger found herself at the center of a contentious situation. The actress was drawn to the film project Boxing Helena, a thought-provoking thriller that challenged traditional narrative. Boxing Helena at first, the part of Helena, a woman who undergoes drastic bodily changes at the hands of an obsessive surgeon, seemed to be difficult and maybe career-defining. Basinger's interest in the project seemed to align with her reputation for taking on daring and complex roles. However, as production drew near, doubts began to creep into the script's explicit content and the inexperience of the young director, Jennifer Lynch, daughter of the renowned David Lynch, gave Basinger pause in a decision that would prove fatal. She chose to withdraw from the film mere weeks before cameras were set to roll. What might have been a footnote in her career instead became a legal nightmare. Mainline Pictures of the production company behind Boxing Helena swiftly filed a lawsuit against Basinger for breach of contract. The crux of their argument hinged on the verbal agreement Basinger has made to star in the film, a common practice in Hollywood, but one that would soon be scrutinized like never before. The ensuing legal battle captivated the entertainment industry and beyond. It raised questions about the nature of verbal agreements in Hollywood and the power dynamics between actors and production companies as the case unfolded in a Los Angeles courtroom. Filing for Bankruptcy It became clear that these stakes were much higher than anyone had anticipated. The jury found Basinger liable for breach of contract and ordered her to pay substantial damages. The initial judgment of nearly $9 million was a staggering sum, even for a star of Basinger's caliber. The financial implications were immediate and severe. Facing significant economic difficulties, Basinger filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. This legal maneuver, typically associated with failing businesses rather than Hollywood stars, highlighted the dire straits in which Basinger found herself. The bankruptcy filing was more than just a financial decision. It was a public admission of vulnerability from a woman who had once seemed untouchable. The actress who had famously purchased an entire town in Georgia for $20 million was now unable to meet her financial obligations. The irony of her situation was not lost on the media or the public, who watched with a mix of fascination and sympathy as Basinger's empire crumbled, the repercussions of the lawsuit and subsequent bankruptcy extended far beyond Basinger's bank account. Dipping Trajectory her career, which had been experiencing growth but had a significant setback, she was a dangerous option for producers and studios due to her financial instability and legal issues, which resulted in fewer chances and parts. Furthermore, the experience had a significant emotional cost. Because of her reclusive personality and anxiety issues, Basinger came under more public scrutiny. Her pre-existing mental health issues were made worse by the strain of the court case and the public scrutiny on her financial situation. After all was said and done, Basinger had to start again in terms of her profession and money. Determining the next chapter of her life was a complex and gradual process that called for a certain amount of grit and resolve. 
The once rich star was forced to reconsider her objectives and make tough choices about her future in show business. Where is she now? Kim Basinger has entered a more reflective and calmer stage of her life as she gets closer to turning 71. Far from the flash and glamour of Tinseltown in recent years, the golden-haired beauty who once starred in magazines and on the silver screen now finds meaning and solace in pursuits. Basinger has mostly avoided the spotlight, only sometimes appearing in public to remind people of her timeless charm. An era for the actress who previously demanded million-dollar salaries ended with her last on-screen performance, a tiny cameo in the previous movie of the Fifty Shades trilogy. That being said, this retreat from the spotlight should not be confused with retirement. Instead, it represents a conscious change in priorities and a reinterpretation of her artistic expression. Voice acting has given the actor a fresh outlet for her creative tendencies. With this change, Basinger may still pursue her passion while preserving the privacy she had once grown to value. Once heard, her unique voice recounts tales in the digital world and gives on-screen solid performances. These days, her voice gives animated figures life. This change in voice work reflects Basinger's changing relationship with fame, her desire for a more subdued life outside the recording studio, and being a professional decision. Stories for Children Writing, especially children's tales, has become Basinger's passion. This new passion serves as both a therapeutic release and a creative outlet. She can use her creativity and transform life experiences into meaningful tales by writing stories for young readers. She finds happiness and pleasure in her endeavor, away from the demands and scrutiny of Hollywood. Additionally, Basinger's dedication to animal welfare has taken center stage in her life. She commits her time and energy to fighting cruelty and standing up for the voiceless while collaborating closely with several animal protection groups. She finds a feeling of purpose in her charitable endeavors. Despite her need for solitude, it enables her to change the world, which contrasts sharply with the sometimes shallow nature of show business. Supporting Mother Sometimes Basinger comes out to help her daughter, Ireland Baldwin. The former star's few public appearances provide a peek at a lady who has matured gracefully while retaining her famous beauty. However, Basinger's focus has changed from being the center of attention to encouraging her kid. Away from the prying eyes of the paparazzi, Basinger finds happiness in her personal life when she's with her long-standing boyfriend. They both enjoy Hawaii's tranquility, which has become a haven for the actress. Based on mutual understanding and similar ideals, this partnership gives Basinger the security and company she appreciates in her older years. Kim Basinger, now in her seventh decade, is a living example of how to reinvent oneself and how important it is to find joy outside of the spotlight. Her tale changes from a bashful model thrown into the limelight to an Oscar-winning actress and now to a lady who has found contentment and meaning outside of the spotlight. Staying Strong the Kim Basinger of today is a far cry from the agent who once made headlines in Hollywood thanks to her voice work, writing, and advocacy for causes close to her heart. She's overcome her past struggles, including financial setbacks, public scrutiny, and anxiety battles to become a resilient and multifaceted person. Her life now is a carefully curated balance of creative pursuits, personal relationships, and meaningful contributions to the causes she believes in. As we close the chapter on Kim Basinger's incredible journey, we're left to ask ourselves what success and perseverance mean. If you've watched the video till here, that means you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe! Don't forget to turn on the notifications bell icon 